For those of you who play Smash competitively, you're probably familiar with the basics of spacing aerials. Swing at max range and or as low as possible to avoid getting punished on shield and outspace attacks. But top level Smash Bros requires a deeper level of spacing. I'm G5 Cosmos, and I'm going to teach you about what I'm calling Zero Spacing. So as the name suggests, I first became aware of these spacing concepts by studying Zero's gameplay. In addition to being remarkable in every other aspect of the game, Zero has always been among, if not the best, when it comes to spacing, and this is heavily due to his mastery of two simple methods. First, for falling aerials, start your jump out of your opponent's range. In order to perform a falling aerial, you first need to go through three frames of jump squat and then the entire duration of your ascent until you reach the peak of your jump where you can input the aerial. This can be even longer from a full hop, and you are completely vulnerable during this time. So often, players will jump right next to their opponent with the intention of falling down with an aerial, but they'll just get hit as they're jumping. By jumping as far away as possible such that you can still reach the opponent's position, you only enter your opponent's space once your hitbox is out, and remain at a safe distance during jump squat and your ascent. Doing this also gives you the option to react to your opponent during your ascent, as you'll be far enough away to prevent some unreactables. If you're very close to your opponent, consider retreating before you go for a falling aerial. You can also use this same concept in reverse, by doing a rising retreating aerial from near your opponent. Either way, the goal is to only be in your opponent's space when your hitbox is out to protect you. The second concept is very similar to the first, but does allow you to initiate your jump close to your opponent. As you'll be jumping in a dangerous position, this method is best used when your opponent is already shielding or you know they're scared. For the ascent of your jump, usually a full hop, Hold away from your opponent, but only enough so that you can still drift back towards them on your way down to swing your aerial. Like in the first concept, this retreating jump allows you to mitigate risk during your ascent and gives you more time to react if your opponent does something. The idea behind both of these concepts is that jumping near your opponent without a hitbox active is dangerous, and this unsafe gameplay is practiced by tons of players, even at high level, and many fail to realize it. Implementing zero spacing is sure to improve your game. Before we go, I have to give huge thanks to Zero himself for giving me permission to use his footage and name this video after him. If you're not already following Zero everywhere and watching his stream, you're missing out. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash for more videos like this.